back to my channel. So today I've got two Anastasia Modern Renaissance palettes and I'm here with my little sister Geneva. Hello. So she bought her palette from the Ulta Beauty Store and there was a 20% off sale for it. And so she paid about $35. And then I got mine from the Post Exchange down in San Antonio, Texas at Fort Sam Houston and I paid $38 for mine. So we were sitting here swatching and we noticed a few differences between the palettes. More specifically the pigmentation of the palettes. Hers has got less fallout on the brighter, lighter colors. Whereas mine has fallout on all the shades, and a few of my shades are quite a bit darker than hers, and they'll swatch nearly completely different. So, I'm going to show you a photo of her swatches, of my swatches that I compared with hers, and then we'll start talking about the actual pigmentation and the fallout and stuff like that. Okay, so these are the swatches from the palettes. This side of my arm is from my Anastasia palette, and then this side of my arm is from Geneva's Anastasia palette. For the most part, they were different, but on a few things they were similar. So, first up, these tempura shades, I think is what they're called. Hers is more olive -y than mine. And you can't really tell, but mine's got more shimmer than hers. Hers is more of a matte. Then, down here on the shimmers, you can't really tell mine, but my two shimmers are actually pretty different than hers. They have got different undertones for one. So, her Vermeer is kind of a sandy color whereas mine is purple and then moving down to our what is that the topes down here so hers actually looks like a warm taupe color whereas mine looks gray and I didn't realize that until I had them side by side then for the Cypress Umber color, which is these little browns, they're both pretty similar in the fact that they smudge. You can see it on this palette. It's smeared everywhere. And then hers, it actually streaked across into the other color completely. But both of them had a lot of fallout. I bent my arm and my palette smeared. Then on my leg, I set my arm down, and this is her palette smeared on my leg. So all in all, they both have got their flaws. Okay, so now looking at these two brushes, you can tell that they are completely different. For one, the fluffy end is bigger on one brush than it is on the other. It's lighter, and then on the other side, the tip is white on one side, and brown on this one. This one's a lot more stubby, too, if you put them right next to each other. Oh, yeah. So, the one that has the white tip is from Ulta Beauty, and the one with the brown tip is from the Post Exchange. And they're actually a difference in size, too. One is fat and stumpy. This one is fat and stumpy. And this one is slender, and so that's, that's the difference between the brushes. Now as far as fallout goes, if we take this and we'll do the warm taupe, one, two, three. This is the pigmentation on the brush this is the level of fallout that you get. There's clearly fallout on the words on the love letter. It's literally all over the place. Now we'll take the other palette and the other brush, do the same, Oops. do the same thing. 
one, two, three. There's a little bit less fallout and it's more pigmentation. It stays in the palette for most of it, whereas the other one got scattered. So, and then over here you can tell one of them is shimmery, one of them not so much. So we'll go ahead and do that one too. Oh wait, whoops. One, two. Lot of pigmentation, but also a lot of fallout. Then we do the other one. One, two. Barely any fallout. Barely any fallout and twice as much pigmentation. Then we come over here and look at the love letter and they're even a completely different shade. Not by much. No, not by much at all, but you can tell that this one is darker than this one. Okay, so here I swatched all of the colors out of my Anastasia palette, and then I did the top colors and blended them into the bottom colors, which you can see here, and I blended them together just like this on each one so that I could see how they blended. And I like how most of them blend, except for this Cypress Umber. But I've noticed that's how they blend in pretty much both palettes. I just don't think it's a very good color personally, but that's my own personal thoughts. Okay, so now we're gonna do final thoughts on the palette. Keep in mind, like, we spent our own money on these palettes. We're not, like, partners or anything like that. Like. And this is our first time owning anything by Anastasia Beverly Hills, so this is like our first impression of this palette, even though it's been in for like, ever. And we're not hating on this palette, or this brand, or anything. We're just saying our thoughts on some of the things that we noticed was a little bit off between the palettes. So, first thing I personally noticed whenever we started doing this, <clears throat> There were a lot of differences, and we checked the packaging on mine to see if it was fake. We and also smelt it. Yeah, we smelt it too, because we have another palette that we're going to do in a future video, where it was a dupe. Like, it's not trying to be Morphe or anything like that, but it was like the same colors as Morphe, and it smells like Play-Doh. And our palettes smell exactly the same, we checked all the ingredients, everything's exactly the same. And as you can see on the backs of them, um, they are a little bit different because of this white, but that's nothing. But they are exactly the same. This is just a security mm -hmm. tag. But they are the same palette, everything's the same on the front. The velvet's the same colors, the lettering is the same. It's from the- it's at the same level. Everything's the same. So, we made sure- so that was the first thing that we did. We made sure that, like, I didn't accidentally get, like, a fake palette or something like that from the post exchange. So I guess the first thing that we finally came to the conclusion was that depending on where you purchase your products from, it might be different. So, because the post exchange always has cheaper products. We've got a coach store inside the post exchange and a bag that could be like $800 outside of post is going to be a couple hundred dollars cheaper. So it would make sense that like the products would be slightly different than what was out in the civilian world. Something you said, I think it was before doing the video, you were saying that maybe the PX gets rejects. Yeah, that could be it too. Possibly, I might have gotten like a bad palette. It happens, everybody's got them. Like a lot of times you'll find them on sale, on clearances, all that stuff. Yeah. So that was the first thing we realized. The second thing was that in both palettes that what was it? The Cypress Umber color does not blend well. They were the same pigmentation and everything, same fallout. You could see how it blended on my arm. It just wasn't yeah. right. 
they just... It was very powdery. Extremely powdery. But that was the same with both palettes. It wasn't yeah. a difference. It was just the palette itself. The Yeah. So, my final thoughts is... I'm okay, considering I didn't have to pay the full $42, I got a couple dollars off, I'm okay with the palette. I'm, my final thoughts, I like the palette and I'm going to continue using it. I like how it goes on my eyes, there's just a couple things that do upset me a little bit. Yeah. But it's not a bad palette. Nope. Alright, so stay tuned for our next video that we're going to do about that Morphe palette and the fake Morphe palette. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Bye. Point out some of the things that we noticed went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that was my funny bone. Alright, can you... <laughs>